Welcome to the beginning. There you go, freedom loving people. What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Now! What do we want? Freedom! What do we want? Now! What do we want? Freedom! When do we want? Now! Oh! We're coming for you, Dandy Andy. No more lockdowns. Uh, no more lockdowns? Yeah. <laughs> Say freedom. Say rah, rah. <laughs> That was tennis, not horse racing. Hey Steve, just wait for some people to turn up. There's more people coming. world press he gets. He gets this, the, the Aussie Open, he insists it stays open, then he closes it halfway through. Mm. Now that's a lot of press for that campaign. Yeah. So the campaign is all about press. Yep. Make people afraid. Make them do what you want. Right? So I'm going to have it, I don't care that you lot don't want it, I'm cancelling your Anzac Day and I'm ordering you into house arrest. Yeah. Now what sort of message does that send? With him as a leader, globally about how to deal with this yep. playbook everyone's looked because all the northern hemisphere followed our playbook yep. they did exactly what Danny Boy did and they're looking at this going fuck that's how you do it yep. and we all just go sure I'm under house arrest yeah. I thought they'd do this and to use this as boosting the numbers after the event but I don't think so oh, for, um, the crowds excuse <laughs> to try and take it away from their quarantine disaster, which is just disaster on but purpose. See, but you see, like the people I've spoken to today, who are just like general people, they're all a bit like, hi, it's, it's good that we do it now because we squash it, we mm. catch it quick. <laughs> and I'm like, hold on, hold on. Catch what? These people wouldn't fucking be, it's just summer cold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, half of them people get a summer cold, and six million people get arrested. Oh, it's fucking insane. It's crazy. Man. And the criminals in Parliament don't get arrested. Done my little cop walk. Does any of them talk to you? No. So th these ones are just numbers. Apparently they don't have to give you a name unless they start asking for your name. So they're happy to be numbers. Yeah. Like, do any of you guys think that it's problematic that tomorrow, if I go to a church, legally you guys can arrest me because that's against the law. From tomorrow, for me to go to a place of purchase. But I can legally go to a bottle shop and purchase alcohol. Don't you think that's a bit wrong? Like how many alcohol fuel do 
domestic violence judge do you guys turn up to? Are we going to allow this mental health crisis? Nothing. Nothing. Yep. Sorry? Well, I, I appreciate it. Do you support that after midnight? Like, you're, you are a, you're a police officer. You're, you swore to protect Victorian citizens. Yep. Okay. So you're, you're orders. Orders. Yep. But just and I'm not judging you, but just to clarify, your order is not to speak with us, it's to stand at this line and be silent. Okay. Because you have to follow orders. Do you, Do you understand what's wrong with that, following orders? Would you feel comfortable having to arrest me tomorrow if I went to church? Because I'm breaking the law legally. Like if I go to a church tomorrow, a place of worship, that is against the law. Yeah, for all you know, I could be on the brink of losing, losing absolutely everything that I've got and I just want to go and sit at a place of worship and pray. But instead, I could just go to a bottle shop, get absolutely rat shit and end up doing something stupid. Like, don't you think that that's helping to fuel the problems that we've got in this state when it comes to domestic fueled alcohol violence, to mental health problems? Like, we're enabling people to buy alcohol, but we're not enabling people to go to church. We're limiting their exercise. So if you're if you're ordered to, to arrest me tomorrow for exercising for two and a half hours, are you guys comfortable with that? Do you think that that's for my health and safety? Because you swore an oath right to protect Victorian citizens, yeah? You can't tell me that by arresting someone for for walking for two and a half hours, you're not that's not protecting them. So yeah, you can say that yes, you're following orders, but as far as I'm concerned, you're breaking your oath. You took an oath to serve and protect the Victorian people. Like people have to shut up their doors, close their businesses, and they're allowed to go home and watch international superstars smack a ball across the court. How are you? There's enough of you in hip hop. Surely you must be fed up with this. Because we're not crazy boys. But people, like my mother-in-law, she has cancer, right? She has lung cancer. Do you know they've sent her home from chemotherapy because she's been coughing? They say, well, you've got a COVID symptom, so you need to go home till you can get COVID tested. Did you know that? Lung cancer patients, if they cough during chemo, they will send you home and force you to COVID test. It is pretty shit, isn't it? So I'm not trying to stand here and berate you. Like, I'm honestly clean with you as I'm a taxpaying citizen of this state. I understand that you've got a family. I understand that you've got a job to do. But at some point, like, you guys have got to seriously go, you know what, something's not quite right here. Because you guys didn't take that oath to just stand around and take orders to not engage with the Victorian community. Your job is to protect the Victorian community. And you guys aren't doing that. Like, I could have gone to any other protest, the Black Lives Matter protest, the Invasion Day protest, your orders were to let everyone do what they wanted. The Cup Day, you brutalised people. I had to stand here and beg for you guys to let a 70 year old man out. You guys were pepper spraying, no discrimination, you guys just blew it out there. There were 70 year old people in there, there were kids in there, there were pregnant women in there. Like, what point are you going to get up in the morning and be like, you know what, this is wrong? Because if there were enough of you in Victoria Police that took us down, you know what, guys? We're not doing this anymore. Stop enforcing the stupid rules like not allowed to worship, not allowed to exercise, by the following. Like, guys, you seriously need to start talking to one another. We live in a democratic country. Just because you're a police officer, that doesn't mean that you're never allowed to form an opinion on how our state is governed. Like, seriously. But my mother in law, her second language, her second language is English, right? She
Hold on, Mel. Hey, horsey. I know. I don't like it as much as you do, but I'm just doing my job. Hold on, love the sign. According to the Herald Sun, there's about, oh, I don't know, 10 people, give or take a few thousand. Can they read? There is a lot of people.
You guys got a strategy, mate? What's that, mate? What's your strategy? Start arresting people soon? Uh, just keeping people safe, mate. Pretty much. Keeping them safe? Yeah. No kettling? When's the kettle start, guys? Gonna kettle? You guys gonna kettle us in again? Remember last time? Were you here? No, you weren't here. Vaccine. We're going to be there marching for your families as well as ours. 